Well, thank you, Izzy, for agreeing to talk to us. Do I take it from the fact that you're willing to explain how you operated that you've given up on that side of your life? No, not at all. It's no big secret in the community, and people just keep falling for it time and time again. Falling for what? The same old tricks. OK, so let's say you want someone's personal details and password. You just send them an email which looks like it comes from Google or Amazon or any of the big companies and ask them to update their details. But surely people are aware of that? Well, yeah, some are, but we literally send out millions of emails. We only need a tiny percentage to fall for it. Most people are still using the same password on multiple sites, so we've even got a good chance of getting straight in. So how would you go about planting malware on someone's device? Easy. Send them an email which has a link to a website. The website looks real, attractive and innocent. While they're there, and especially if their browser's out of date, we can deliver spyware, keystroke trackers, anything you want. And then, if they're on a network, so are we. We call it a drive-by download attack. They don't even know it's happening. And you're not worried about telling people about this? No, not at all. It's like those magicians. They tell you exactly what they're going to do and how the trick works, but people still fall for it. So is there anything we can do to stop you? We're opportunists. If you make it hard for us, a lot of the time we'll move on to the next person and look for a weakness there. I'll send you a list of things you can do to make my life difficult. I'm an opportunist, but I do like a challenge. <laughs>